Good morning, Los Angeles, and what a pleasure it is to be with you at the beginning of a week, uh, which I know for so many of us continues to be weeks of struggle, of hope, of coming together, and of course, of challenges. But here we are at the iconic Tom Bradley Terminal, named after our city's greatest mayor, where international flights come in and leave from our city, which is the number one airport in the world of origination and destination, one in which we come together, we see friends, we go to new horizons, and one that has been especially hard hit, we know, because of the pandemic. We are here today to mark the launch of what we are calling the Terminal Wellness Pilot Program, which is a vital step to protect your safety, to help our economy move forward, and to make sure that everybody stays healthy during this pandemic. Before I speak a little bit more about the program, I want to introduce leaders that you'll hear from. We're not all standing together because of safe physical distancing, something we need to all continue to practice. But I want to thank our LAWA CEO uh, designate, who's been the acting CEO, Justin Urbachi, who you'll hear from first. The president of the Board of Airport Commissioners, Sean Burton, who's also here with his fellow commissioner, uh, Gabriel Shagian. They're both citizen volunteers who help oversee and run this airport with our staff and Amit Ricky, who is the president and CEO of the Carlisle Airport Group, as well as Nicholas May, who's the airport segment's leader at Schneider Electric. Together, we are investing an unprecedented amount of money in this airport because there will be a day post COVID-19. And we've said for so long that this was an airport that needed to be world class, whether as a neighbor, whether as an airport itself, and we've seen huge, huge investments, the largest investments of any airport in the United States of America, a $14 billion plan to reimagine LAX and to prepare it for the future. These have also created thousands of good middle-class jobs, and we need this now in the midst of this economic downturn. We haven't let up. In fact, we're accelerating that construction in the midst of the pandemic, ensuring that our workers here have a paycheck to return home Many of them through innovative programs that have hired folks looking at racial justice and economic justice, folks who have served time before or who never graduated from high school, who've gotten the skills in our building trades and now are working at LAX to ensure that we can erase some of the racial inequities of the past and also make sure that this is a jobs opportunity engine for all of Los Angeles. We've always said that a world-class airport isn't just defined by what we build, though. It's also about world-class safety. Um, tomorrow marks in a very important day in that milestone as LAX will begin piloting, as you can see next to me, a thermal camera technology that can identify travelers with body temperatures of 100.4 degrees or more because we know that that is one of the leading symptoms of COVID-19, having a fever. If a person is identified as having elevated temperature, a staff member will approach the person and request a secondary screening of that individual using a trained medical professional who will have a handheld non-contact thermometer and our ability to spot folks that are exhibiting COVID symptoms as we saw at the beginning of this pandemic is so critical to stopping its spread, to ensuring that people can travel safely and that as borders reopen, that whether they're traveling in the United States or from and to the United States, that we can do our part to continue to bend the curve down. Departing guests who are identified as having an elevated body temperature will be advised by airport staff that they should not travel. And arriving international passengers who are identified as being potentially ill may be referred to CDC staff so that they can quarantine. Now this is a voluntary program with signage alerting passengers where the pilot will take place. And that will initially be at two different locations, here at Tom Bradley International Terminal, at the main entrance of the departure levels, as well as in the arrival area as well. To be clear, these thermal camera temperature checks will not replace other safety measures. We're not saying that you only can rely on this. This is an additional layer of safety. This is not either or, but and, and. And some airlines will require further screenings before you get on board, and we praise the work of private industry to make sure that their airplanes are safe, because that makes our airports and our cities safe as well. And CDC staff work at the airport since the beginning of this pandemic. They're on site conducting screenings for international arrivals that are identified as being potentially ill. And as a reminder, whenever you're in a public place or coming into contact with others, and LAX fits that description, you should physically distance, wear protective face covering, and wash your hands frequently. These are the basic things, as I've said, we might be done, we might be over COVID-19, 
but COVID-19 is not done and is not over us. We see troubling statistics across the country and especially young people who I want to speak to, uh, those who might be teenagers or in their 20-somethings who really do feel like they're invincible. And the statistics show you are less likely to die from COVID-19, but more and more percentage of the spread is coming from those young Americans, young Angelinos, young people around the world who are thinking, it's okay if I hang out with my friends, I don't need to wear my mask, I'm not gonna get sick, or if I get sick, I'm certainly not going to die. You can kill others with that attitude. That is the spread that you can bring back to your family, to your communities. And as we see good numbers, our deaths went down again last week in Los Angeles. We need to do everything we can as we have more openings to have this sort of approach to safety. Now back to the airport. We've placed signs all around the terminals with reminders on all of these important safety measures so that if you do need to travel, you can travel safely. We've installed more than 250 hand sanitizing stations. We're continually deep cleaning all of our highly trafficked areas, really setting the bar for any place of work, for our employees that are here who need to be essential employees, for travelers who have to come through as well, and for all the public who are connected to those travelers. You see, innovation is the heart of our Angelino spirit. It is the beating heart of who we are in Los Angeles. I've been so proud of our city, so proud of each of you, who have done the right things, whether it's confronting this pandemic, dealing with the economic generosity that we need to find to help each other out, or rising up to this moment of racial inequity and call for racial justice. You are leading the way as individuals, and collectively we are as well. The results of this pilot program are going to be shared, because LA, when LA leads, others follow. We're gonna be sharing them with CDC, with TSA, and with other airports, because the industry standard is gonna be set here right here at LAX. So with that, we'll clean the mic and I'll actually introduce our first uh, speaker. It's actually gonna be Sean Burton, who is the president of our airport commission, a former shipmate of mine, the United States Navy. He has been uh, doing a great job over the last seven years overseeing the largest construction program in America. I wanna thank him for being here and invite him forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, for your kind introduction and for your leadership in what has been an unbelievably challenging time. I also want to thank our CEO, designate Justin Urbachi. Uh, last week, the board just made it official and hired Justin to be the CEO, and I want to congratulate him and thank him for being very thoughtful during this crisis um, as we've navigated really what's been an unprecedented time. I want to also thank Ahmet Ricky from the Carlisle Airport Group for joining us here today and for being an incredible partner in this project. It is critical that we bring new technology and protocols to our airports as we recover from the greatest reduction in passenger traffic in the history of aviation and transition into a new normal for air travel. As is the case around the country and the world, passenger traffic at LAX has fallen to historic lows during this pandemic, with the number of guests in April lower than any other month since John F. Kennedy was president. Thankfully, guests are slowly returning to air travel. As our guests return, we know it's incumbent upon us to make the public comfortable with the idea of traveling once again, to help boost passenger traffic numbers, and to rev up the giant economic engine that is Southern California. That's why the COVID-19 Recovery Task Force, which, which includes a work stream called Getting Passengers Back to the Airport, is tasked with finding solutions all across the passenger journey to enhance our operations and continue to ensure a safe, a clean, and a healthy airport. Our Board of Airport Commissioners understand that for travelers to be and to feel safe, we need to use a number of tools and there's not a single solution to our new reality. Today's announcement is part of that ongoing work to help people travel safely at LAX. This is a new world and it will take bold thinking and action to get people traveling again in meaningful numbers. Our terminal wellness pilot project is an example of a collaborative, innovative, and substantive solution. Thank you again to Mayor Garcetti, CEO Urbachi and our government, public health, and private sector partners for helping us stand up this leading edge pilot program. Together, we will help passengers get back to the skies as safely as possible. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and I'd like to introduce uh, our new CEO, Justin Urbachi. Thank you, Mayor Garcetti. 
Um, we, are, we are incredibly fortunate to have you leading this city during this time of critical crisis, COVID-19, and a changing environment. Thank you for your guidance, your continued support of LAWA, and for continuing to be a champion of innovation at LAWA and in the aviation industry. Thank you for that. And thank you also, President Burton, for your leadership and that of the Board of Airport Commissioners. You have enabled us to navigate through this very unprecedented economic and operational time of crisis and turbulence that we have never seen before here at this airport or in the aviation industry. You have constantly encouraged us and supporting us in driving innovation and taking a leadership role in our airports and in the overall aviation industry. We thank you for that. As President Burton mentioned, we've been working for months now to keep people and help them travel safely at LAX. Now there's no single solution to create safe and health airports. That is why we are focused on developing a multiple layered approach towards helping passengers across the entire journey and allowing us to do innovate and improve at every step along the way. That is why we have added hundreds of hand sanitizers across the airport. We have ramped up deep cleaning and sanitization of our airport terminals. We have mandated the wearing of facial coverings throughout our terminals. And we have added hundreds of signs to promote physical distancing. And finally, we have pursued numerous technologies to help us create a safe, clean, and healthy airport environment for our passengers. We see this temperature check pilot as yet another potential layer of protection we can provide to enable our passengers to have a safe journey. Now, LAX has long been a leader in innovation and setting new standards for our airports, especially in the area of technology. This pilot is yet another example of our stewardship in this area. The goal of this program is twofold to determine the best technologies to use for temperature checks at major hub airports like ours, and to create processes and protocols that can be recreated and repeated in other terminals here in the United States and across the globe. We want to thank Amit Ricky, the CEO from the Carlisle Airport Group, who is with us here today for supporting our ambitious pilot program. We'd like to thank Schneider Electric for their partnership in this pilot and for providing the cameras that we'll be using over the next few weeks. We also want to thank the Faith Group and Concentra, all of whom play an important part in this pilot program. This is a true example of public-private partnership and a model that can be used to help the avi aviation industry recover from this COVID-19 pandemic. We also want to extend a big thanks to our partners in government who have supported and provided input into this industry leading program. Thank you to Customs and Border Protection. Thank you to Transportation Security Administration, to the Federal Aviation Administration, to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, to the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health and to the Mayor's Office. Thank you also to the LAWA, the Carlisle and the Schneider Electric teams who have worked tirelessly to make this pilot successful. We are very excited to begin this pilot program. and We hope that will result in new standards that can be applied across LAX, across all airports in the United States and across the globe. Thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Amit Ricky, the CEO of the Carlisle Airport Group. Thank you for being here, Amit. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Garcetti. LAVA Board of Airport Commissioners President Sean Burton and LAVA CEO designate Justin Nerbachi and the LAVA management team and staff for your leadership during this difficult time for the traveling public 
and airport staff. As an active member of the aviation community, Carlisle Airport Group, the Carlisle Group's dedicated US-based infrastructure arm for airport development and investment, recognized early on that extraordinary cooperation and decisive response was needed to retool and rebuild passenger confidence in air travel. And as the leader in public-private partnerships, CAG felt it was our duty to assist the industry in recovering from the pandemic by providing support, guidance, and resources to adapt to a new normal post the, in the post-COVID environment. As one of our core values, we feel investing in our community is simply the right thing to do. We contacted LAVA in late March with the idea of a partnership based on the need for quick action, effective technology, and revised operational procedures. LAVA had independently identified this need and we joined forces to develop a concept of operations and technology plan to implement screening within the highly complex terminal environment. Working together with our partner companies, Schneider Electric and HGH, we were able to provide thermal cameras for testing at no cost to the airport. We also contributed technical expertise to work hand in glove with LAVA management and staff. In cooperation with CDC, the pilot program takes into consideration guidance that has been issued by ACI North America and IATA and leverages our technology portfolio. LAVA has approached this pilot with a great deal of planning throughout, working with all stakeholders to develop a detailed plan prior to the pilot implementation. This includes working together with our partners, the airport staff, airlines, critical stakeholders such as CDC, Department of Homeland Security, and local airport health authorities. The pilot is unique in monitoring the entrance to the terminal and testing not just individual cameras, but assemblies of cameras to perform in terminals which have high volumes and large areas, the cameras must be able to scan large numbers of persons quickly and continuously while simultaneously identifying individuals that exhibit possible elevated body temperature. Computerized analytics have also been integrated into the camera operation. We'd like to again thank you um, and to, our, to for your support in rebuilding passenger trust in clean transit. We look forward to a successful pilot as we continue to lead the way safely. Thank you again. Well, thank you so much, Amit, and thank you to you and to Justin and to Sean um, and to all of you who are watching today. This is a critical step in us making sure, uh, like I said, we're not over COVID-19, but we've learned how to live with it just a little bit better, how to do that safely, how to screen more quickly, how to isolate people, and how to stop the spread. This will be a, a long haul for us. We hope that there will be interventions medically sooner than later. But while we wait for those days to come, we can get people back to work safely. If we all adhere to these protocols, we ask folks, even though this is voluntary, if you are traveling, please make sure you do go past one of these cameras in one of these areas. Help us make sure we can find that model that will work to get people where they need to go and get them there safely without seeing COVID-19 spread. With that, I'm going to uh, speak now in Spanish as well. Uh, I want to thank everybody tuning in in English who might uh, tune out. Uh, thank you as always. Stay safe whenever you can. You know, stay strong and stay home. Um, to everybody else who's out there, we appreciate the work that you are doing and making sure that our essential work continues, that we are safely opening up our economy in the right ways, and always monitoring that data to ensure your safety, the safety of your family and your life as we march on towards more economic prosperity, more racial justice, and everything else that we're focused on today. Thanks so much. With that, in Espanol. Buenos días, Los Angeles. Es un placer estar aquí desde el Terminal Internacional Tom Bradley para lanzar un programa piloto terminal de bienestar, un paso adelante para proteger su salud en este aeropuerto. Juntos estamos construyendo un aeropuerto de clase mundial con invertir más de 14 mil millones de dólares en reimaginar nuestro aeropuerto. Y durante la pandemia, estas inversiones 
las cuales han creado buenos trabajos de clase media por la gente de Los Ángeles, han continuado, acelerado con la implementación de medidas de seguridad. Pueden ver que un aeropuerto de clase mundial no se define por lo que construimos. También se trata de seguridad de clase mundial. Mañana marca un hito importante en este trabajo, ya que LAX comenzará a utilizar tecnología de cámaras uh, térmicas que puede ayudar a identificar a viajeros con temperaturas corporales de 100.4 grados o más. Porque sabemos que uno de los principales síntomas de COVID-19 es la fiebre. Si se identifica que una persona tiene una temperatura elevada, un miembro del personal se acercará a la persona y solicitará un examen médico secundario realizado por un médico profesional utilizando un uh, termómetro uh, porta portátil sin contacto. Nuestra capacidad de detectar a las personas que presentan síntomas de COVID antes de que entren en contacto con otros disminuirá la propagación y salvará vidas. Salvar vidas de los empleos uh, empleados aquí en LAX, de nuestras familias y toda la gente también. El personal del aeropuerto informará a los pasajeros con una temperatura corporal elevada que no deben viajar. Y los pasajeros internacionales que llegan y son identificados como potencialmente enfermos pueden ser remitidos al personal del CDC o CDC. Ese es un programa voluntario con señalización que alerta a los pasajeros sobre dónde se llevará a cabo este piloto y que inicialmente será en dos ubicaciones dentro del terminal internacional de Tom Bradley, en la entrada principal y en el nivel de salidas, así como en el área de llegadas. Para ser claros, estas pruebas de temperaturas de la cámara térmica no reemplazarán otras medidas de seguridad. Se harán además de ellas. Algunas aerolíneas aún requieren exámenes de salud para abordar y el personal de CDC también está en el sitio realizando pruebas para llegados interna llegadas internacionales identificados como estar potencialmente enfermas. Les recuerdo que cada vez que se encuentra en un lugar público y entre en contacto con otros, como por ejemplo aquí en el EX, debe practicar la sana distancia, llevar una cobertura facial y lavarse las manos con frecuencia. Colocamos letreros alrededor de terminales con recordatorios sobre estas importantes medidas de seguridad. Instalamos más de 250 estaciones de desinfectante para manos y continuamente limpiamos áreas muy transitadas. La innovación está en el corazón del espíritu angeleno. Aprovechamos de la tecnología para construir un mundo mejor. Y los resultados de este programa piloto se compartirán con las agencias CDC, TSA y otros aeropuertos porque el estándar de la industria se establecerá aquí mismo, en LAX y en Los Ángeles. Gracias por su tiempo, bienvenidos a LAX y como siempre, uh, toman todas las medidas importantes a proteger sus familias, su comunidad y las vidas de Los Ángeles. Gracias.